Good day, Turbo fans and retro game enthusiasts. Welcome to another episode of Turbo Tuesday. Valis 4 was developed by Lasersoft, the same team behind Valis 2 and 3. It was published in 1991 by Telenet for the PC Engine CD-ROM. It was only released in Japan. Valis 4 is the fourth and final game in the self-titled Valis series. It is a side-scrolling platformer. Following the events of Valis 3, Yuko is now a goddess and watches over Vikanti. The Dark World Prince Galgir breaks free of his prison and kidnaps Valma, the younger sister of Yuko. Knowing the Sword of Valis is the only thing that can defeat Galgir, Lena and her twin sister Amu set out to find the sword. Joined by Asphal, the king of the Dark World, they head to the heavens of Vikanti to retrieve the Sword of Valis and to defeat Prince Galagir. As in Valis 2, you can switch between characters. Each has their own special skill. Lena can perform a slide, Amu a double jump, and Asphal is invincible to certain traps. Weapons can be powered up by collecting colored orbs. Each character also has a unique magic skill. A status bar indicates the magic power and is drained when it is used or you get hit by an enemy. Switching between the three characters is key and needed to complete the game. In Valis 4, there is a definite improvement in visuals over the last two Valis games. The character sprites are more detailed and have smoother animations. The backgrounds are no longer flat and some levels have parallax effect that gives some depth to the game. The audio soundtrack is good, but in my opinion, it doesn't shine like the Valis 3 soundtrack. As with previous games in the series, there are also animated cutscenes. In Valis 4, they are a bit more detailed than previous. Unfortunately, Valis 4 was never released outside of Japan, but is a critical part of the series. If you enjoy the Valis series, definitely check this game out.
Thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for the next episode of Turbo Tuesday. Follow us on Twitter for the latest updates.